the merchant of venice is one of the most famous plays by william shakespeare let us read about the play and its sequence of main events antonio is a wealthy respectable and popular man he is leading merchant of venice he has many friends including bassanio who owes him a good amount of money he wants to repay antonio but is unable to do so however bassanio thinks he may have found a way he will need to borrow more money from antonio he tells antonio that a young beautiful and wealthy heiress lives in belmont and he intends to win her hand in marriage in order to impress her he would like to appear as a wealthy suitor like other suitors antonio tells him that he would gladly lend him money but is unable to do so as his merchant ships are still at sea he suggests that bassanio can borrow money from a money lender and use antonio's good name as security for the loan at belmont porcia tells nerissa her confidant that she is tired of the suitors and she wishes to be free of the obligation of her father's will according to the will she cannot choose her own husband she can marry only the man who chooses the correct casket from among the three caskets of gold silver and lead one of the caskets contains porcia's portrait which have to be chosen to win her hand in marriage so far none of the suitors had any luck Pochia has not liked any of them either. When Nerissa mentions Bassanio's name, Pochia says that he had impressed her on a visit to Belmont. Meanwhile, in Venice, Bassanio borrows three thousand ducats for three months from Shylock, a rich Jewish money lender. Shylock secretly hates Antonio and forgoes the high rate of interest he usually charges. instead he demands that if the day of payment falls due and the money is not returned he may cut off one pound of flesh from antonio's body antonio agrees on these terms as he is sure that his ships will return a month before the due date lorenzo a close friend of antonio and bassanio intends to marry shylock's daughter jessica They live together secretly and she disguises as a boy while doing so. She also carries a good amount of her father's ducats which angers Shylock. He decides to take revenge. Then Bassanio and Gratiano leave for Belmont. Portia sends away two suitors, the Prince of Morocco and the Prince of Aragon, who choose the wrong casket. Bassanio chooses the lead casket and it has Portia's portrait. They are overjoyed and decide to marry along with Nerissa and Gratiano, who also want to marry one another. Soon, Bassanio receives a letter from Antonio, bidding him farewell as his ships have not returned, and Shylock will take a pound of his flesh. Bassanio rushes to Venice with the money that Portia gives him to repay Shylock. In Venice, Shylock does not want the money. but insists on taking a pound of antonio's flesh the duke of venice presides over the court of justice bassanio requests shylock to take double the amount but he refuses then portia disguised as a lawyer enters the court with nerissa who is dressed as her law clerk portia asks shylock to be merciful but he will not listen she offers three times the money lent but he refuses then she cautions shylock that he can take a pound of antonio's flesh but not a single drop of blood then she cautions shylock that he can take a pound antonio's flesh but not a single drop of blood shylock quickly says that he will take triple the amount of the money that had been offered but portia refuses Furthermore, she draws his attention to the fact that Shylock is an alien in Venice and tries to seek the life of a citizen of Venice, Antonio. So, all his wealth can be divided between that citizen and the public treasury. Additionally, Shylock's own life is in danger because of what he had tried to do. The Duke decides to spare Shylock's life at the end of the trial. 
Antonio is given half of Sherlock's money and the rest of it to the state. Antonio gives a share to Sherlock's daughter Jessica and her husband Lorenzo. Sherlock accepts all the conditions and leaves the court defeated and disheartened. The disguised lawyer Portia and Nerissa also leave the court in haste. They reach Belmont. Bassanio, Gratiano and Antonio also reach Belmont and all ends happily. Antonio receives a letter informing him that three of his ships have arrived safely in port. So all are relieved and 